the trades in the United States are not just an option. They are a great option. A great option for financial gain and financial freedom. And the trades aren't something we should look down on. And right now, alone, there are 700,000 manufacturing jobs in the United States that are open, and many of them pay or have a short path to making six figures. But nobody's talking about that enough. Parents, you aren't talking about it because you care too much about your own freaking status because you want to send your kid to a college and tell everybody you're a great parent because your kid went to college. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm just tired of this. Nobody cares. I, I, Nobody cares in the professional world. Once you get out there, once your kid gets out there, nobody cares. The only person that cares is you as a parent and the person who goes against it. Well, I went to Clemson. I went to Alabama. Nobody cares. I went to Princeton. Nobody cares. I went to Columbia. Nobody cares. You know what people care about? They care about whether or not you can meet them where they are in this world. And when they've got a problem, if you've got a solution and you do a good job, you know what they care about? They care about that. You know what they do when they care about that and you take care of them? They reward you. They reward you with a certificate of appreciation, says Rabbi Daniel Lappin, in the form of money. And the more money you have, the more freedom you have. That's what we're all after. So here we go. 21, this is from Indeed, and they're a great, great company. And uh, this is data-based, okay? 21 skilled trade jobs that are in demand now and will be in demand in the future. Okay, now let's just define a skilled trade because some of you are like, what's that mean? Am I a plumber? By the way, why do we even say that? I've said this before. I'll say it again. When I have a pipe burst in the middle of winter, do you know who the most important person in my life, in Stacy Coleman's life is? It's the freaking plumber. So I don't care if his butt crack is showing. I don't care. I mean, come on. Do you care? No, not at all. I'll stare at it gladly while he makes my life better. <laughs> I mean, seriously, we got to start. We got to start glorifying the plumbers, the bricklayers, the carpenters, the HVAC repairmen, the electrician. These are the people that make our lives better. It ain't your congressman. It's your local tradesman and tradeswoman. I'm telling you, let's start calling it like it is. And by the way, not only are they amazing men and women. This, they've, they've got an opportunity for an amazing life. All right, here we go. Skilled trade just simply means they got on-the-job training or some type of vocational training with a certification. They didn't need a degree, and now they're crushing it. Here we go. This is from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. These are in-demand positions that will range from 4% growth to 30% growth in the near future. Okay? Now, again, don't turn your nose down on these things. I'm just running through where there are opportunities. And as I mentioned, there's some of you older workers who go, you know what, I retired in COVID and times are a little tight. This is where stepping in in a part-time role, you can make some really good cash. Here we go. Custodian. National average salary is eleven eighty-eight per hour. Um, I'm not going to hit all 21. Um, but, but again, this custodial role, I'm going to hit some of these and just unpack them. I mean, again, usually in a very safe environment, Climate controlled, you go about your task, make decent money. Largely left alone as long as you do a good job. Legal assistant, fifteen sixty-seven per hour. They work alongside attorneys with a lot of uh, court case documents and so forth and so on. Very administrative. By the way, none of these require a college degree. Just a reminder. How about a bus driver? You like driving? You like driving? You like kids? You don't mind a little bit of uh, control chaos? You get up early, you want some freedom in your day, 16, 16 per hour is the national average. How about a welder? And this is just national average. By the way, every time we do a list like this, everybody feels the need to go, I 
wait, 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 more than that. I make more than that. You're wrong. No, this is a national average. Just relax, would you? Welders, seventeen eighty nine per hour. And again, a nice ladder for growth here. This trade right here, you get in as a skilled tradesman, do a good job, got an opportunity to one day own your own business. All kinds of side work, too. How about a brick mason? 2026 per hour. I talked to a guy who runs a brick company at our latest Entree Leadership Summit event. He said, Ken, we need young bricklayers, masons. They don't understand. They got an opportunity to make really good money. 2026 per hour. Uh, construction equipment. A lot of opportunity here. You're handling, operating large machinery. National average, $20.38 per hour. Tractor trailer drivers, huge need in this area. You like driving and you got a family situation that'll support this. That's key. Um, tractor trailer driver, $20.74 an hour. Crane operator, $20.86 per hour. Again, national average according to Indeed. Carpenter, $21.46 per hour. This is the national average. I can tell you right now, Williamson County, if you're a carpenter, you are making bank. Six figures, easy, if you're good at what you do. HVAC technician, national average, $23.34 an hour. Diesel technician, $25.22 an hour. Home inspector, I've always thought for people that are really good, you know, noticing details, I just saw Joe, my long-term guy's been with me forever. Joe, you know, you'd be a great home inspector. And I'm not trying to get you to leave, but I'm saying that, like, Joe's wired for detail. Joe is very conscientious about detail. It's why he's in the work that he's in. But, you t but, but Joe, that would be a great business for somebody who's looking for, you know what, I'm stepping out of the corporate grind, whatever, whatever. If they understand construction at all, the training on this, eh. now you're gonna your work will slow down in times like this where you're not selling as many houses. But what a great gig, home inspector! You know, you got to do is go around and point out everything that's wrong, <laughs> and make your own schedule. That is true. Uh, plumber, twenty five dollars and twenty eight cents an hour. So notice we have HVAC twenty three dollars an hour, plumber twenty five an hour, uh, carpenter twenty one an hour. And these are just, by the way, these are national averages. Uh, diesel technician, these are all people that fix stuff, make stuff. Electrician, $25.93 an hour. Boiler maker. Boiler makers create boilers that hold oils or other gases and liquids. Let me tell you about some of these jobs and why I'm pointing them out. In every one of these jobs, these, these traditional trades like this, here's what's happening. And you just go do your research and you question me. Every one of these trades is saying that their good workers are aging out. So there's an opportunity for young people to jump in with a minimum amount of training and step right in and make really good money and see advancement. That's what's key about this and why I share it. Aircraft mechanic, $26.58 an hour. Landscape designer, national average salary, $54,000 per year. Construction manager, you get into construction in one of these trades, Work your way up. National average salary, $77,000 a year. And that again, that's the national average. That could go bananas and you end up working for yourself. Folks, here's what I'm trying to say. There's massive opportunity in trades to make money and earn your freedom.